is Dr. Scott McLean, and this is a YouTube video about implant dentistry. Today we'll be discussing the X-Guide, which is a navigational tool for placing implants using a 3D format. During this presentation, we're going to show you how we can take a planned implant in DTX Implant Studio, then transfer this plan into the system using the X-Guide. So this is a navigation type of software and hardware system that will place implants in a dynamic fashion. So we first want to take a CBCT scan of the patient, but it's very important to have the X clip, which is provided for the system in the patient's mouth at this time. The X clip must be secure on the patient's working arch during the CBCT scan. And this is a small little device that you take and it's heated up in a hot water bath and thermoplastically changed and then adapted to the same arch that you're going to place the implant and you place this in and have it snap over the undercuts. You'll notice it has three small round balls and these are actually um, fiduciary markers which will help you to line up the handpiece to the patient during the surgery. Now once we have that uh, CBCT scan we're going to prepare this scan using DTX software and then we're going to take that software plan which is going to be very eloquently done and then transfer it into the X guide where we'll do the navigation so we'll use the X guide to put this implant exactly where we want to go so you can see once we take this DICOM file we can move this file into the DTX software and we'll notice that the fiduciary markers are present. So there's three here shown on the red arrows. So it's important to have that X clip in position when you're taking that DICOM scan because this is what we're going to use to really line things up to the handpiece and to the implant itself. So here's showing what the fiduciary markers look like on the X clip. Now once we have this DICOM file into the DTX Implant Studio software, then we can also bring in the uh, patient model, which is an intraoral scan of the patient. So doing this, we can start to plan the implant. So you can see we're planning a noble active implant. We're looking at some lighter healing bone here. And so this shows us exactly what's going on with the site. So this planning can take you know not anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. And once we have this plan done, we're going to transfer this plan into the X-Guide. So we can look for this X guide button at the top. We're going to click this button and this will start the process. So we're going to save that file. So we have to create that, save it, and then we're going to take that file which is going to be transferred over the internet or on jump drives or somehow. So that little X guide button is at the top of your computer now. So once this file is transferring, we have to click finish and so it's quite simple and uh, there will be a legal disclaimer that pops up that makes you kind of answer to that and makes you responsible for the case now what you'll notice is an export button because this file is now been created we're going to export that file over to the X guide so we'll click the export button and we're now we're going to create the file name that has some meaning to us so on this case I'm just going to put my name Scott McLean on it so it's going to say scottmclean.xgx, which is the XNAV file that we're going to use for navigation. So this is kind of very creative, and I like the fact that these two softwares are chatting back and forth to each other. So we'll click Save, and this exports the XGuide file, and you're going to take this to a transfer folder, which is going to bring you from your Windows or your Mac environment into the Linux environment of the XGuide. And so this is kind of critical because you need that file. So this is happening seamless between the three types of software systems. And so once you have it on the X guide, then you're going to be able to start to do your surgery. So let's do that. When we go on to our X guide machine, we're going to be able to import that file. So we'll come up to the software, we'll click on the import button, and we'll go and find the file. We happen to put it in the DICOM folder under XGUIDE plans and you can see the Scott McLean .xgx and this is the file that's been wrapped and ready to go from the DTX Studio software but now it's being imported into the XGUIDE software so it's going from 
one software to another. And so it's pretty, pretty fabulous how this works. So you can see that once it's kind of imported, then it's going to be accessible for us to start to do our guided surgery. So we'll be able to see the X clip on top of this uh, generated folder. So look how cool this looks. It's got the X clip in position now because of the fiduciary markers. So it's going to create this kind of graphical interface. We can also see the patient models in position and we can see the actual noble active implant which is in position here so that we can do our guided surgery. So now it's just a matter of going through the procedures that you're used to on the X guide and getting it done. So this is the cool part. You can see me looking at the screen and I'm actually doing a surgery on my patient to get position, depth, and angulation. So the implant osteotomy is being prepared by me looking at the computer screen and it's guiding exactly where the drill is going to go so I can avoid dental nerves, I can also avoid sinuses and, and uh, make this very safe and very predictable. This is a pretty impressive system. Here I'm calibrating the drills for length and we're going to use the XNAV system now to place the implant. You can see this will keep my angulation and depth under control and it takes a little bit of practice but uh, I keep getting better every day with this and uh, it's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the whole system and uh, the ability to plan this implant now in DTX software is uh, really quite fantastic because I have such sophisticated tools at my my kind of fingertips. So in summary, our goal is to develop a plan to get position, depth, and angulation, and then to deliver that to the patient using the X-Guide system from XNAV Technologies. So this is Dr. Scott McLean, and this has been a YouTube video about implant dentistry, specifically about the X-Guide and how to move files from DTX Studio Implant into the X-Guide software.